Welcome to Duntroon Highlands. My name is Tony Rubish and I'm the head golf professional. Nestled on the Niagara Escarpment just south of Collingwood, Duntroon Highlands offers dramatic elevation changes, breathtaking views of South Georgian Bay, and a relaxed atmosphere. Please use this course overview to help you enjoy your round even more. A relatively short par 5 by today's standards, this hole can still wreak havoc with the start of your round. The tee shot on this par 5 should be played to the left side of the fairway. A perfectly placed shot offers a chance to go for the green in 2 by cutting the corner. However, the safe play is to lay up on the fairway across the creek, leaving a short approach to the left portion of the green. From the start of this second piece of fairway, the shot is about 40 yards to a heavily sloped green from left to right. Accuracy, not length, is the name of the game on this short par 4. A drive of 230 yards aimed at the lone cedar in the middle of the fairway leaves a short approach to this long, narrow green. With water on the left and thick rough on the slope to the right, a straight shot to the middle of the green is a great play. You'll notice that there's a slight false front, so make sure you get deep enough into the green. The shortest par 3 on this course has yielded the most holes in one and the most frustration from a poor shot. Seemingly an easy hole, hitting it left, right, or long can lead to a quick bogey. Try to leave yourself an uphill putt on this back to front sloped green. With out of bounds down the right side of this hole, play for the left side of the fairway. Playing uphill and usually into the prevailing wind, Take an extra club, sometimes two, for your second shot to avoid the heartbreaking sight of your ball rolling back toward you after hitting into the false front of this elevated green. This green is influenced by the escarpment. Everything breaks towards Georgian Bay. Clearing the pond with your tee shot is tempting, but not worth the risk unless you easily carry 230 yards with your driver. A 200 yard layup to the right side of the fairway is ideal to give you a good angle into this two-tiered green. Depending on which level the pin is on, a great miss is short right. Again, this green slopes away from the escarpment and left to right. It's this green complex that makes this the hardest hole on the front nine. An elevated tee shot, usually downwind, invites a big drive, but beware, the fairway pinches in at about 260 yards off the tee. This green rarely holds the approach, so club down to avoid running off the back into the bunker. Accuracy once again is the key on this short par 4. A tee shot over the corner of the pond on the left leaves the best angle into this elevated green. Try to land your approach just on the front of the green which slopes back to front. Be careful to club up so you don't come up short and roll back down the hill. A well-protected green that is tough to read and tends to run fast makes par on this hole a great score. 
Judging distance and controlling the speed is essential. The green breaks heavily away from the escarpment. Bailing out short right is not a bad play. Duntroon's signature hole, a true risk-reward tee shot. Carrying the pond is possible and leaves a much shorter approach while a layup that fades to the right side of the fairway is safer and offers a good look at the green. 260 yard carry over the pond leaves you about 100 yards in. One of the larger greens on the course, it does slope slightly from back to front. This unusual par 5 requires a well-placed tee shot of about 185 yards. For your second shot, you can play it safe and hit a short iron through the gap, or you can go for the green with a long right to left shot. The last 50 yards of the approach is downhill, allowing you to run it on from further back. When conditions are firm, shots landing short of the green have a tendency to run off the back. A gentle right to left break is predominant on this green. Another risk reward tee shot can add up to an 80 yard difference for your second shot. Lay up with your 180-yard club or go with driver and carry the pond with a high left-to-right tee shot. One of the toughest greens on the course, short right is where you want your approach to finish up. Left or long on this green leaves a tough up and down or two putt. Once again, you have multiple choices for your tee shot. Play just over the right edge of the big tree for a second shot of about 120 yards, or aim further left with a longer club, leaving a shorter approach. Or you can go big with a high right to left shot and drive the green. This green is well guarded on three sides, left, right, and long. A solid par three of about 160 yards. A tee shot to the left side of this green avoids the deep bunker on the right and leaves an uphill putt. The longest par 3 on the course features a firm fast green that feeds to the back left. The miss on this hole is left. Getting up and down from off the green on the right side is very difficult. The green slopes heavily from front right to back left. The number one stroke hole on this course, this uphill par 5, usually into the wind, plays long and tough. Out of bounds stretches the entire left side. A creek crosses the fairway 120 yards from the green. Following a great drive, you can go for the second landing area, leaving a short third shot. The green slopes ever so slightly from back to front. 
but he is guarded on the front and left. Hole number 16 offers a breather and a good birdie opportunity following the last two tough holes. A tee shot that carries the stand of trees and creek that crosses the fairway leaves a relatively short approach. Club up and take dead aim for this very narrow green protected by a bunker short left. The green is narrow, quite deep, and has very little break. Hole 17 is a beast, playing long and usually into the wind. The long par 4 features the toughest second shot on the course. You need a long drive to have any chance of holding this green on your second shot. The two-tiered green shrinks the landing area as does the raised back bunker. Trying to make an up and down from just short is a common occurrence. The green slopes heavily back to front. One last chance to bomb it on this long par 4. The fairway runs out at 300 yards. Get as close as you can to the creek, leaving a shorter approach shot to a green that slopes heavily from right to left. Balls landing mid-green sometimes end up in the left side bunker.